The fourth excerpt of the Georgia Allstate lyrics, the Roman Carnival Overture excerpt, is also very difficult. It goes very fast. It has a lot of tricky string crossings and things of that nature. Uh, when I look at it, I would start it uh, here on the A string. And the reason is, when I'm looking at it at for, you know, kind of perusing it, there's a lot of hard things to do in it, but I think the hardest is coming down this... Uh, that little passage there. And uh, I want to start that with an E on the fourth finger. If I start it, you know, I'm going to, so I'm going four two four one four two. Or, or some people go four two four one and then two one here. That's that's okay too. Uh, but if I if I start that E on a one or any other finger, it creates a lot of other awkward things I have to do. So for example, I could if I could do I could do one two like that. You know, but it's like I have to do then two shifts, two like an extra shift in there. Uh, which is, is difficult. If I just do this one four four shift, oh, I'm sorry. Right, that makes it so it, it fits right into the hand and it's very clean and very easy. And I'm not thinking about different things. In other words, when I'm going this quick, when I'm going very very fast, I don't have to don't have to think about think about one thing differently in the middle of it. I want to just put it into the kind of automatic pilot and just finger it down. Okay. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to want to have the F sharp here because that if I don't want to play the F sharp here and then shift up and then shift back, it's, it's again in, in a fast tempo that it's just asking too much. So I'm going to do my best to make a nice, a nice sound in this F sharp, and this is probably a better sounding F sharp. This one here, but this one here, I can get the sound nice if I put my bow in the right place. I'm going to do it right near the frog. I'm going to get a nice clean sound out of it, and then it's going to put me right in a good position right, to come down that scale in, in the correct fingering. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do everything, everything over there. Right? Uh, B on the fourth finger, I'm going to come over here this uh, on the second finger on the A. Uh, G sharp on the first finger, then F on the fourth finger. Right, so all that, is, and I hear when I do this... Then I have to make a little, get a little pivot, a little shift, or pivot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, here, I have to go back up to the B, but it's a very easy one. All right? So I'm shifting around a little bit here, but not, not that complicated. And my high E is right up there. So I find it easier just to play the whole thing over here in fourth position and not come back to first position until I come down on, the, on that scale. I'm going to start it at a relatively slow tempo. You know, if I were starting this practicing for the first time, I would go much slower. For the demonstration here, I'm going to go at, uh, I'm going to run 100. And let's just see what this feels like. And um, you know, this is this is a decent tempo. It's, it's, it's listed here as like 150, right? So I mean, obviously, I'm trying to work up to 150, but I'm going to play at a tempo that's comfortable, I'm, you know, and I, I can think of everything, and I'm going to play it many, many times at this tempo, and then gradually move it faster, you know, and, and then you know, maybe the end of my practice, I'll try it at 150 to see what it feels like. But the bulk of my practice is going to be a you know a decent tempo that's that's quick. But one where I have time to think of everything and one I have time to set everything up and make it feel very comfortable. Me? If I'm playing this for all state, I'm not going to stop here and talk. I want to count those reps. They want you to count those reps. So now I get to this next part. Here I want to have a nice, a nice, uh, I could probably use a little more rosin than folk. I want to have a, a little accent on the first one. It has a little house top thing, but I want to have the forzando on the second beat. slow those eighth notes feel. Those eighth notes there feel much slower because the beat has stayed the same, but now I'm beat, I have quarter note in the beat instead of dotted quarter note. So I have three notes, uh, instead of three notes, you know, three eighth notes in the beat, I have only two. So those eighth notes seem slower, but I'm just staying at tempo and playing this. 
So the big thing here, I, I fingering over in fourth position, uh, getting ready, you know, first finger, fifth position for that uh, F sharp, so I can come over and get the F sharp coming down the, that little run there. And then accenting the second beat on that uh, second half. And of course, counting between 13 and when that second half starts. All right, hope you find this helpful. Thank you.